Retirement is all about harmless hobbies, early nights and moaning. Or so it's old. But for some pensioners, turning 60 is a licence to break all the rules. I'm 18 in my head and about 398 in my body. These outrageous oldies are blowing their pensions, winter fuel allowance and the kids' inheritance and behaving like there's no tomorrow. How's that, Fran? Turn round, let's see how you are. I like a man who can give me what I like. Now, if you don't mind, I'll take my shirt off and I'll show you what I mean. I made a vow that I would grow old disgracefully, and now I'm nearly 80 and I'm still disgraceful. They may have an appointment with the Grim Reaper, but until he catches them, they're determined to grow old disgracefully. Beautiful. I don't know how much fun you can have when you get old. I'd have been old earlier. I'm happy to be retired. This time, we meet the intrepid grannies living life like it's one long hen party. Well, I haven't done this in a long time. When your kids have flown the roost and your husband's ancient history, it could be time to shed your inhibitions and grab life by the horns. He's got an eight parcel, hasn't he? We tear up Tenerife with pension party animals Christine, Sheila and June. He can't get his eyes off my bloody tit. Will ex-Navy Ren Sheila dare become Britain's oldest topless model? And 77-year-old Bet is crowned queen of Brighton's gay scene. Hang on, love. Pity, pity, pity. Busy painting the world 50 shades of grey, their grannies on the loose. Yorkshire's known locally as God's Own County, but for 64-year-old granny of three, Christine Smith, it's more like God's Own Waiting Room. 27. My life, it's boring, really. I go to bingo on a Monday. I stop in on a Tuesday and Wednesday since I've had my stroke. I go to bingo Thursday, bingo Friday. Having survived a stroke, meningitis and an industrial accident, Christine's no longer worried that her number might be up. You just get on with your life and you've got to enjoy it and let your hair down, because life's too short. They say cat's got nine lives, I think I've got more. <laughs> You are, you are wearing that bra, aren't you? I'm wearing this bra. Yes. Oh, yeah, this is yeah. a special bra, isn't it? Retired meat factory worker Christine is about to leave the bleak bingo halls of Barnsley and go on a four-day no-holds-barred pension party in Tenerife to celebrate her friend June's retirement. <laughs> Tenerife's the ultimate party venue for ageing Brits. And our Barnsley grands are planning to dress outrageously, drink copiously, Flirt like it's going out of fashion. This four-day pension party will be fancy dress, and Christine's enlisted help with her costume. When I cut it, if you pull your bra up, yeah, so that you've got more of a cleavage, so you can see more, see of your bra, so you yeah. make it makes it more. No, so I well, Tian's got a good pair of tits, yeah. hasn't she? Yeah. Well. Five and six, fifty-six. The other pension party goers will be Christine's bingo wingman, retired receptionist Sheila and former barmaid June, both 61 years young. June will be blowing her first 113 quid pension check on the trip, and all three friends are intent on dressing up. Sheila's doing Madonna, uh, June's going to doing her 70s, but I'm going to be the famous one, Tina Turner. <laughs> Can is I number one? Christine's dressed as Tina before, but this is her first tailored outfit. I always had a black bin liner, and it gets ripped sometimes. Well, it always gets ripped. <laughs> Have you had your fitting? I've had my fitting for my dress today. And? It's looking very well. Carrie's got to finish it off. It's going to be really, really revealing. My boobies will be hanging out, I think. <laughs> Sheila's Madonna outfit is a bit more restrained. My Madonna is all ready to go, but I'm not having the cold. Uh -huh. Why? No, don't Go on, don't no. Mean, no. With or without boob cones, Christine's Yorkshire puddings never fail to make an impression. Uh, well, once we've been somewhere, never forgotten. 
We go, we can go back second time, but it's to apologise for what Christine's done first time. My behaviour is a bit erotic sometimes. I don't get me sanning. <laughs> if I've had a drink, especially. Six and nine, sixty-nine. Oh, like that. They're binning the bingo and winging off to the Canaries. The locals had better lock up their granddads. What happens in Tenerife? in Tenerife. Seventy-three-year-old Sheila Breen Rickabees, a bit of a daredevil. So I've done the white water rafting bit. I had a fear of heights, so I learned to ski. I haven't quite got to the skydiving bit yet. But yes, yeah, you do the best you can. At 17, Sheila joined the Navy, but in seven years never sailed further afield than Reading. Determined to see the world, Sheila emigrated to New Zealand and tied the knot. Was it a happy marriage? Well, for him, yes. For me, not really. When you spend your honeymoon deer hunting, it should tell you what the marriage was like. Two decades later, Sheila ditched her husband and came back to England. I've been here in this building, what, 17 years? Yeah, 17 years. God, doesn't time fly. <gasps> now living in sheltered accommodation, Sheila finds little in common with her neighbours. I don't tend to sit in the sitting room and listen to all the moans and the groans and the gripes and the complaints. So I tend to go out for a walk. We've had a lot of casualties, but we're all, we're all Christians, and so we get up and do our bit, and uh, we just carry on. Being single in a rear basement oh, bed sit can be extremely lonely. Even though there are other elderly people in the building, it is still very lonely. Plastic creams. Mm. And if I talk to myself, at least I've got someone to talk to. But yeah, it, it can be lonely. So Sheila could stand it no longer. She decided to become a professional <laughs> model, despite her age. Perfect. Ah. Excellent. You miserable little punk. <laughs> I'll blast a hole right through you. Bow! The body's old. I have arthritis and partially deaf. Uh, partially sad. No, no, I don't see myself as old. Ah. Right, take the gun away from her. She's dangerous. Coming up. Christine swaps bingo in Barnsley for Totty in Tenerife. Will Sheila dare to go bare? Sorry. <laughs> and 77-year-old Bat steps up to judge the best butt in Brighton. <laughs> Some of today's female pensioners are determined to make the very most of their longer lifespans. The 73-year-old retired Ren Sheila is one of Britain's oldest models and is beginning to make a name for herself late in life. Um, I was on the Stockwell Strangler documentary. I was the first victim. I enjoyed that, believe it or not, being strangled. Nice young man, you ask. <laughs> right. For the past six years, Sheila's been on the books at Ugly, an agency for unusual models. She's proven so popular, they've invited her in to update her portfolio. But Sheila offers something few other models her age can. Now, do I have to admit my works involve nudity? <laughs> do I? Oh, well, yes, at 73, I don't suppose it matters. Sheila started stripping in her late 60s. I can tell you quite truthfully, my youth <laughs> didn't even think of nudity, skinny dipping, or even displaying the bare shoulder, never mind anything else. Oh, no. We do what we want now, <laughs> within reason. The agency hopes Sheila's seductive snaps will get her more gigs. So what we do in Blossom? We are going to do a little updated photo shoot for you, because we've got the new book coming out next year, so we need some updated pictures, and you've been doing all your new... Uh, having your bits and bobs out, so we're going to do a nice a few bits. shoot. Oh. Fun, we've got some props, feather boa. Yes, the first t 
time I did full nudity was for a television game show. That was only semi-nude, sort of bare top. And I had my boobs painted <laughs> as watermelons. <laughs> make quite decent sized watermelons. <laughs> it was a job, so I did it. I didn't, I don't remember feeling embarrassed or, or anything of that sort. No, I don't remember feeling embarrassed. Anything's different to being stuck in a bedsit rear basement flat. So yes, it's interesting. Barnsley offers more Yorkshire grit than you can shake a whip it at. But that's not enough for 64-year-old pensioner Christine Smith, as her husband Tony is about to find out. What are you going to do with Tony then, Christine? Well, on Thursday night we're going out for June's pension and I'm going dressed up as Tina Turner. When Christine's dress is fully tailored, this granny of three will be leaving Tony behind and hitting Tenerife for a four-day pension party celebrating her friend June's coming of old age. All right, yep, thank you very much. June's had ten leg operations and suffers from chronic lung disease, but she's still the fastest thing since Meals on Wheels. Well, when, when she gets on that school to June, you've got to watch out because you never see. She ran over my tour when we were in Benidorm. She'd had a drink and uh, she's a, she can be a tear away when she gets speeding on that scooter. June may be a Larry biker, but she doesn't want to be a hairy biker. Yeah, what is it you're wanting today, June? Chin and just underneath, please. Yeah, and you've had it done before. Yes, no problem. Yet. Are we going anywhere nice then, June? I'm going to Tenerife on Wednesday. Oh, fantastic. I'm going to officially celebrate me becoming an OAP. Oh, <laughs> you're not old yet. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you're always old as you feel, I always say. Friends were saying, why don't you get a Brazilian? I said, no, thank you. Being there, done that. I just need that a wipe over for you then first. <laughs> it's my chin now, not, not the other parts that needs doing more than anything else. Have you got any plans then while you're there, or any more uh, plans? Well, as long as I don't crash my mobility school, I'll be all right. <laughs> Have you done that before? Oh, yeah. Ouch. Yeah, yeah that's it. All the way around, so you've got your boobies out. The finishing touches are being made to make Christine simply the best. For retired miner Tony, it's a bit of a blast from the past. You know that I like to show me yeah, your breasts off. It brings back memories, but like a windscreen wiper. <laughs> <laughs> right. Not too short. Sure. Not too short, sure, though, do you? I know, when I've got a belt back. What, what do you think about? Just a box it. Like, no, like a zigzag. While Christine's proud of her front, she's more modest about her behind. You don't want it yet, backside no. hanging out completely, do you? No, well, that's one thing I don't like showing is my ass. I don't mind my me, me, me tits, but not my yeah, ass. Right, that's fine. In a few days, Tina Turner will be turning heads in Tenerife. The sunkish shores of the Sussex Riviera are home to 77 year old Beck Carews. How are you, all right? Yes, I'm absolutely super, especially now I'm with you. She's grown old with some of Brighton's most glamorous residents. And tonight, she's judging a male beauty contest with right. Compare Dave. Now you're going to get your tits in or now? Ah, uh, now I've got a problem with tits at the moment. Do you want to see them? I've made new ones. Do you want to borrow mine? Oh, God, I would fit in this. <laughs> look, look at this. It looks like an embryo. That's it. It's the, worst, it's the worst tit in the world, isn't it? Chicken look. fillets. Um, yes, yeah, seriously. Let's go downstairs to check out the talent. Oh. Sounds good to no me, good. sounds good to me. <laughs> oh, don't worry about a fag, darling, there's plenty of fags downstairs. <laughs> I know you're good at going up, but going it? down, I've never seen you do. <laughs> when I see Bet, are you, I always smile, I don't know. Just, she's just one of those sweet people, I just like her. She's a loony as well, I mean, we've had some, a few drunken nights together. <laughs> I've been on her shoulders as she carried me home. This is a woman who's got bigger tits than ego. It's our own lovely Bet. But that hasn't always been so carefree. I'm quite happy to admit that I was married. I had a daughter, which was of no interest whatsoever to my husband because he was an Arab and it was only boys that mattered. So after a lengthy divorce, um, I finally met somebody else. I ended up getting pregnant again. So I spent an awful lot of time trying to get a home together for my kids. We were moving from one flat to another, 
for all sorts of different reasons. As long as my kids were fed and clothed, that was the most important thing to me, and my bills paid. But um, I was, I suppose, yeah, I was about 50 when I first actually started to go out and enjoy myself. I think the boys love her because she's outrageous, stays out late, does all the things that she shouldn't do. She's an exhibitionist, which they love. I, I, I know, I can truly say that at this time in my life, it's, it's the best. So what do you think of him as a man? Yeah, it's just such a fantastic life. I mean, I don't go out every night of the week, um, but whenever I go out, I know that I walk in a bar, and it's, hello, Beth, how are you? You know, it's just fantastic. And at my age, 78, what more could I possibly ask for? Bravo. All right. <laughs> Round applause tonight for our winner! Meanwhile, our three Barnsley grands prepare to take the erotic to the exotic. Tenerife's the largest of Spain's Canary Islands, and three colourful birds have just come into land. Right, come on, girls, let's get ready and party. We're going to enjoy this weekend. Hurricane Barnsley is ready to strike. But first things first. Right, come on, Sheila, right? Before we get in that taxi, Christine, I'm having a cigarette. Have you got it in? It's in. Are you saying? Right then, you enjoy them fags, you are too. Here we come. Sheila's already bracing herself for a bit of a bender. Well, I've never really been with them before, so I don't know what to expect. I know what Christine's like at home, but I'm afraid she's going to be a bit more wilder in Tenerife. And Christine yeah. doesn't waste any time in getting things going. <laughs> You like a man in uniform, do you? Of course I do. I say, I know what, let's count how many I grabbed today. That first one. That's your first one today. That first one. Two and a half thousand miles away, Christine's husband, Tony, is home alone. I have no idea what Christine's up to now, but probably we should be sat outside a bar having a drink at this time after afternoon. Tony's not fully in the picture. Christine has got previous. When I, when I went to Tenerife for my son's 40th, I got dressed up as a hooker. And we were all walking up to this pub, and this woman come up, and she told me off. I said, what's up with you? She said, well, you're on my patch. She thought I were a proper hooker, didn't she? <laughs> Emboldened by the local vino, Christine's decided to play a prank on a victim who's caught her eye. I'm going to get on his knee and I'm going to wrap my breast round his neck. So, uh, watch this space, here I come. Are we ready? While Christine prepares her prank, Brighton Bet gets a ticking off from her family. Cheers. Cheers, girls. Love you all. I love you too. I do think you should be at home doing your crocheting rather than out clubbing and staying out later than us. It's yeah. not on. Yeah, I know, but if I stay out, and it's past 12 at night, which is quite late, then I'll make up for it by staying in bed till 12 the next day, <laughs> you see. With the youngsters tucked up in bed, Bet sneaks out to go clubbing. I can still boogie on down and I still like a drink. And the boys that I go out with, my gay boys, I absolutely love them to bits and I know they love me. I quite like going. The only thing is, there is a slight problem in as much as you can start drinking at one and it finishes at six and it's a bit embarrassing getting on a bus with your bus pass going home stinking a Volcro. <laughs> While Bet sleeps off her hangover, 73-year-old model Sheila is back for the photo shoot at her agency. Just push your lips out for me as if you're kissing, that's it. I like the glare. I used to, I danced with him once. Doesn't bother me at all what people think of me. Come on, I've been considered on since I was a kid. Now give me some cheers, give me some football cheers. Yeah! I don't cheer football. I please me. Yeah, about time we elderly pleased me. For Sheila, 
High visibility is about more than health and safety. Let's have a bit of YMCA from here. Grow up? No, probably not. That's it. Put your labels to right. Old age, to a certain extent, is release because you've gone through the period of growing up, in theory anyway, growing up. <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> My version of myself is a very shy, very reserved person, but no one ever seems to agree with me. I don't know why, really, I don't. <laughs> Sorry. OK, same again, darling. So, let's have a few nice little glamoury pictures. Jiggly, jiggly. Lovely. I don't get enough of it. It is my release. I find it very enjoyable. Well, for me, it was fine. How was it for you, dear? <laughs> Over in Tenerife, 64 year old Christine's on a four day bender, and worse for wear, she's moving in on her unsuspecting prey. No, I'm not going to speak. I'm just going to. You don't want to speak? Oh, get me you You lot, let's give her a cheer, come on! <laughs> Christine's not the only one up to no good. Oh, you have put it on Facebook already, have you? Oh, yes. oh Joe, that means Tony will see it. You weren't doing that. Maybe nothing you hadn't wrong. got them out, Christine. No, I hadn't had them out yet. No, not, yet. <laughs> not yet. I've got wrong rare on, haven't I? Coming up, Sheila goes starkers in the name of art. <laughs> and the grandmother of all pension parties gets into swing. Canary Islands are volcanic in origin, and the hottest pension party on the planet is about to erupt. Can I come out now? I'm getting really bored in here. June's turning 62, and her friends Christine and Sheila are helping her celebrate her official retirement. Come on, June. Happy pension party. Come on then, June, try your nose on. You're right, no bed now. I've always been a no bed. <laughs> Do you feel like a pensioner, June? No, I'm uh, 18 in my head and about 398 <laughs> in my body. That's, that's the only problem. But I'm still only 18 in my head. Ditto. <laughs> the aged teens are ready to paint the town grey. Oh, it's a right struggle, this. Well, you can say I've never really acted my age. I act like a, a 26 year old, really. Aren't we all right here? Hey, the fit though, Sheila. They're all transforming from nans in 90s into celebrity lookalikes. Hey, what do you think, girls? Christina is unmistakably Tina Turner. Oh, very well, wait, wait. Sheila is Madonna, nearly. Junior Yancy check in. I know. Is that because you've become a pensioner? Yeah, it's, it's old age. It's June not... shaking, and so is the island's entire male population. Uh, it's all Chris. Are you going to get the boobies out for the boys? Well, it depends what pop size. I think they're popular, aren't they? No, mind about all else. Well, you put, have you got a 34 bra in mean, your... What, boob? 44? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> June's going as a sort of Doris daycare. Is your fringe OK? Yeah, I think That's so. better. That's fine. Is yours, then? Mm, look at her, she's them off. Oh, see. Uh, yeah, uh. <laughs> British grannies don't just cause chaos in the Canaries. They can stir things up just as well at home. It's the morning after the night before for hardcore clubber, 77-year-old Bat, and a good friend Colin is helping her to walk off the hangover. I live in sheltered accommodation. Um, which is nice in some respects because you've got pull cords where you get assistance if you should fall. 
Uh, but because there's five flats on each floor, you literally see people passing in the lift. I don't really associate with anybody particularly, except for two gay guys that live upstairs, which I think the world of, and one lady downstairs. But the rest of them are, are sort of always talking about knee aches and false teeth, and it's just really not my scene at all. So I don't associate, so I suppose in that respect, I'm not your run-of-the-mill pensioner, even though I've had my bus pass for 18 years. Get your leg over. That's it. Oh, my. You can tell I haven't done this in a long time. I made a vow a few years back that when I reached 60, that I would grow old disgracefully. And it's quite nice to know that, yes, that's happened. And now I'm nearly 80 and I'm still disgraceful. And I hope to stay that way. Vets yeah. found Brighton's gay crowd are the party animals she's been missing all her adult life. Do you remember that, that time with those four blokes? Yes, I do. I don't what John did to you? <laughs> no, I didn't. No, no, I don't think. What was that the other stripper? <laughs> There's <laughs> so many, I so know. many towels. And at my age, it's so hard to remember all these times. You've got so many memories. I think I might throw up in a minute. Even after a heavy night, tonight's all planned. Bet's crowd are throwing her a 78th birthday party, and the invitation extends to her retirement flat neighbours. How many of them are coming to your party? With a bit of luck, none. Oh, don't no. tell me. You must no, know. No, we haven't got room for the Zimmer frames. Uh, and there's nowhere to hang the listen, walking you sticks. Listen, you could be on a Zimmer frame another couple of years. Yeah, and I'd be a fancy one too. <laughs> <laughs> that is disgusting. And until she needs that Zimmer frame, Bet wants to spend her vintage years doing just what she wants. Would you not want to settle down? Not really, no. I don't want to go back to iron your shirts and say, need right. your dinner, darling, and okay. all this crap. I'm a much happier person being on my own and getting the text, say, we're going out tonight and I can just drop everything and, and go. go. Yeah. So yeah. who wants to be committed again? In Tenerife, it's witching hour, and our pension party animals are ready to drink the night away, whatever the risk. I'm ready for a drink. I know, I can't wait for a vodka tonight. Might be a red one in there, don't we? Yeah. Just to be sociable, you know. I've been like this really since 1982. I had meningitis in 1982. I was in hospital six weeks. I was on my deathbed. So from then, I've really let my hair down. Get some. Get some pension money. Ah, oh, some pension now. <laughs> No pension blowout would be complete without the government helping foot the bill. And June's about to invest her first 113 quid payment in booze. I think you should get drinks in now that it's your pension day. No. It's going down there, look for safekeeping. Oh. Yeah. If she's still thirsty after that, June can always drink her £200 winter fuel allowance. Let's go, day. And soon enough, the Barnsley Three become man magnets. Can I squeeze your bubbles? I beg your pardon. Can I squeeze your bubbles? Squeeze your go bubbles? on then. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'll squeeze then, though. <laughs> if you're drowning, they wee pups. I'll have the one with the brown nose. Oh, I've got plenty of brown nose, but I'll have that then. All right. <laughs> Tenerife has more bars than you can shake a walking stick at. And our wannabe celebs are thirsting for adventure. Also staying at the resort is Christine's son, Kevin, who's glad to see his mum is in such rude health. My mum had a stroke a couple of months ago. She's a couple of four, four mini strokes on hospital. She's done well, she's come out here still, she's enjoying her life, and he's just took it all for me. She's doing brilliant, you know what I mean? And Kevin also admires June's lust for life. But now she's in a bloody school, too. she comes out and just enjoys herself, just live life, and young is just going like, oh, Merlin, and, you know, it's stupid. Come on, I've got it. Tina Turner may need another hero, but Madonna is not looking so worthy of Vogue. You look nice, though. You look nice, Sheila. And it's still only 9 p.m. The bars are open till the early hours. Oh, God, it's been brilliant so far tonight. I think there might be a few more hours left in us yet. But we are having a ball. Hey, I say I'll save that for later. It might come in handy. <laughs> Hey, oh, I know, but that's just a nice size, that one. Do you reckon? Yeah. I think it could have been a little bit bigger. 
Oh, you were greedy. You were... That's always been greedy, is not you? Yeah. Back in London, 73-year-old Sheila's saucy snaps have attracted attention and she's got herself a new booking. It's a daring career move. She's posed topless. Now, she's going all the way. Oh, it's for the life model shoot this afternoon, tonight, this evening. And so I'm taking the dressing gown because it's bound to be cold. Bound to be cold. Yes, it has been mentioned Life modelling's been mentioned or oh, two or three times, but I've never actually got around to doing it yet. So tonight is uh, the first sort of experience of it. And who knows, it might lead on to more. Sheila split from her husband when she was 45, but she still has an eye for the right kind of guy. I've been single for... 28 years I've been single. I think the odd man or two would make it more interesting. <laughs> Liven it up a little bit. And this evening, she won't be alone when bearing all. Hello. Oh, hi, hi, Barry. Hi, 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 Good. Hi. Um, I'll just go and get changed. Okay. Perhaps nude modelling will bring a hint of romance. Oh, are we doing Barry and I together, or...? If you're comfortable doing, oh, yeah, doing a joint yeah, one, then, no that's, problem. then that's fine. <laughs> yeah. The receptionist and the tutor said that it was difficult to get older women. Men wasn't a problem, which is a shame. But then, older women of my generation just didn't strip off. Men might have done, but women didn't. I've been doing this for 19 years. And so, you know, you do something which you feel comfortable with. But I do it all over London. So there you are. And I'm no youngster either. I'm 62, so there you are. The idea of posing naked would mortify most pensioners, but Sheila's concerns are more practical. Having to hold a pose for a fairly long time. So if it goes beyond, say, five or ten minutes, I should probably have to sit down and let somebody else carry on. And we don't want to dis disappoint anyone, so, yes, that's a slight worry. While Sheila prepares to go commando, the Tenerife trio are determined to put the sex into sexagenarian. Life begins at 40, it doesn't, it begins at 60. You're not working and uh, you can enjoy it more. I mean, when you look at some at 60s, uh, they're just uh, they're so boring. They don't, you know, they act more older than what they are. And it's time they got a life and enjoyed the song. <laughs> Even between bars, no lone male is safe. Look at that, look at that, that one. Who wants to that? Not me, oh, he's got a nice parcel, isn't it? Yeah. I get my breasts random and that. It's, it's just a right laugh. They like it, though. They always come back for more. <laughs> Not all of them do, though. Christine's on the prowl for a dishy Spanish waiter called Mario, and he's gone into hiding. Is Mario on? He's on holiday. He's on holiday? Holiday, yeah. Oh. I suck him. He's no good waiter. He's a brilliant waiter. How are you? All right, thank you. You're beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> With Mario on the run, there's only one thing for it. Let's have another drink, Russell. We'll call in here for one. Come on, we'll call in here. With some of Britain's pensioners now drinking as much as students, the ladies have been studying hard. She was getting a little bit intoxicated now. She says she's going on water, but I doubt it. Well, it's a big day for June, and she's really low down tonight. She's really... Enjoying it. We put balloons up, banners up, straws with dicks on, and uh, we've done all sorts. Glasses with knobs on, uh, 
We really enjoy the sun tonight. I bet that's bigger than yours, isn't it? <laughs> Coming up. Age may have wearied them, but Sheila and Barry would rather be in the buff than in a bath chair. Beth's birthday party puts the OMG into OAP. And the Tenerife pension blowout reaches its climax. <laughs> 73-year-old Sheila's finally found freedom as a model and she's about to graduate from topless poses to full frontal nudity. <laughs> 62-year-old Barry stands proud. He's a modern-day gladiator prepared to be immortalized in pencil. Barry then brandishes his rod over a prone Sheila. He now sits before Sheila like a besotted suitor. Perhaps Sheila won't be lonesome tonight. Yes, I enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs> They're not young, but the night is. And even in clothes, this couple have lots in common. In the old days, we used to go to the Colherne pub, oh, yeah, to the Bolton, no, yeah, that's right. and we used to go to the Copacabana, the oh, club. God, yeah. <laughs> and there was another club on the corner called Subway. We used to go oh, there. God, yeah. But it's funny, that gay area has moved to the West End and to Vauxhall. So it's changed and there is nothing gay in Earl's Court anymore. No. So probably no fairy tale ending for Sheila tonight. Over in the Canaries, Tenerife's late night clubs have opened up. We'll have a few more in here. You never know, we might pick some at all. <laughs> yeah, we've got a pension party. Wow! The compere's delighted to welcome some A list celebrities. He's not sure which ones. Wow. Is, are you sure it's uh, not Tina Turner and um, well, I think, uh, Turner. Alison Moyer? Uh, Alison Moyer and Tina Turner, give them a big round of applause coming up here on the Good stage. Night. It's a venture party. It's a venture party, yeah, that you're going to have. Right, so. Oh, I like that. I just, <laughs> do you know, I can't believe we've got a microphone in one hand and I've got your hand in the other, so I am at uh, your beck and your call. Do you know what? I asked my boss for a rise when I came in. I think you've just given it me, but um, yeah, so, you're in a proper line, I'm probably rise, right? So just, just, just stand there, just stand there where it says trap door. Oh! But Madonna's not happy. The bloody cheeky swine calls me Alison Moyer. Are you Madonna? She's Madonna. Oh. I can be Alison if you want. Oh, you can be anything you like, sweetheart. I've only been drinking for about eight hours, but. Who's counting? I'm not really. We've had a good night. Been in four bars and we really enjoyed the sun. <laughs> June's pension party has certainly gone with a bang. Hey, that's my balloon you busting. Oh, I've lost my cups, yeah. Somebody, somebody's got me... me knobhead. Knobhead, don't they? <laughs> it's a pension party to certainly remember. Absolutely fantastic. What they've done for me is absolutely brilliant. I've enjoyed every moment of it. It's also party time for Brighton Bed. Her friends want to celebrate her 78th birthday. And I'm having a big debate about what to wear at the moment. What about that one, do you think? I think that's very me. I look at the wrinkles in the mirror and think, yeah, girl, you're old. But then the rest of me says, no, you're not old, so I just don't look in the mirror as often as I need. <laughs> Who 
Just that it. should be all right. It should be nice. Neighbour Terry is the Gok One of sheltered housing chic. Should I have these straps? Well, you're going to look tucked in. Or... <laughs> well, that's good if you fall. <laughs> Are you falling out with anyone? Oh, I <laughs> might be, be in later. That <laughs> <laughs> No, you look absolutely fantastic. Right, well, I really have do. The, have the, these tucked in then. Have you got your glasses on? Or can you undo this without glasses? Hang on. But Terry's eyesight is not what it was. Like a, you know, dog leash. Oh, God, I know these bloody things are a nuisance, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Oh, hang on. <laughs> this is what they really do call up and personal. Well, the thing hang is, on. it took me forever to, to find the link to put it on. Oh, hang on, I'm going the wrong way. Oh, well done. We wish you a merry birthday. We wish you a merry birthday and happy new year. The celebration is being hosted by couple John and Jeff. <laughs> this is supposed to be a nice, clean party for an aged woman. <laughs> John brought her. How boring. John, John brought her a parrot for her birthday, but you yeah. all got confused because she said she wanted a cockatoo. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's cost me a fortune of bloody seed. <laughs> Bet's presents are as outrageous as she is. No. Nipple tassels. Yes, definitely. No. And modesty pants. No. <laughs> I don't let all the sundry see my knickers, love. I absolutely dreaded being 40. Um, and I thought, oh, my God, you know, that's so old. But here I am, two years off 80, and thanking God for what I, where I am and what I'm doing. Well, that's cool, <laughs> <laughs> I've suddenly got two pairs of knickers. What else? John! She's more than you normally wear. Oh. She's fun. She's always laugh. However, she is a filthy old bird. And then there's the after-dinner entertainment. Inflatable cockfighting. Yeah, no, I said, have you got boxing? We've organised a cockfight for you. It's absolutely fab, but I'm weighed down by something hanging around my waist. And I'm not really sure what it is. Well, she's our friend and she's a lady, and both of our mothers don't live in Brighton, so she's a, like a surrogate mother to us, which is really special. Enjoy life and live it, don't we? Yeah, she lives it. She does live it. Oh, no, I, don't, it off. I, I don't do waiting. And if I could be like her when I get to her age, that's pretty cool. By 4 a.m., it's all got rather emotional. I knew it was going to be a nice night, but I just didn't realise how special tonight was. Don't make me cry because no, it's no, going to. Well, I love you. It's cool, darling. It's cool. You've been fabulous. Happy tonight. days, isn't it? Happy days. Yes, but it's special because they're special people in my life. Over in Tenerife, June's four-day pension binge is still in full swing. The Barnsley Barnstormers are natural-born drinkers. Their stamina is even impressing the younger generation. The oldest definitely got more back than we do, and they get up the next day and do it again. Proud to be pensioners, these grannies are enjoying their liberated later life without a care for what anyone thinks. I am 65 next year, and uh, I'm going to get old really disgracefully. So, what would you say we've done this weekend? Too much. We have. <laughs> no, we've, no. we've had odds. Yeah. Uh, they've been about 13 a, a night, haven't we? Next time on OAP's Behaving Badly, it's the pensioners who've retired from work, but not from partying. Meet Alan and Fran, who keep their neighbours awake with raunchy late-nighters. Dave, the 71-year-old former banker who's become Tenerife's dancing sensation. I just love to dance. And exhibitionist Pat, the centre of attention at every party. What's disgraceful about dancing on the table? Well, that's just doing what I do. It's the generation of 24-hour party pensioners.